and sincerity. Um, don't know how, how long this one's gonna be. There's a lot of reading in there um, because he saw the devil, and there's a lot of information. I, I don't, I don't even know what bits to even pick out. Um, but look, man, are you, are you really gonna trust this man? You know, are you really gonna trust this man? This man has been doing lots of, uh, you know, experiments on, you know, uh, the population over the time. Right, uh, and you know, and this is including just the you know the 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 open population, right? And these are the things that are 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 even recorded. There'll be a lot more that people don't know about, right? That isn't confirmed, right? You know, one of the th questions we ask is, you know, was you know what what is with this uh, a COVID? Is is you know is is it a real? Is it, is it even there? Right, or is this all you know part of the elites just you know putting towards the agenda, or is this something that was made in a lab? That's the problem. You don't you 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 don't know anything when it comes to this man, apart from that he is a lie, right? You know we are. Uh, so I'll go into uh, would you call, I'll go into this um, where I can. I'll try to read through bits quickly. Um, but this is from Business Insider. It says over and over again the military has conducted dangerous bio warfare experiments. On Americans now, some of these were in uh, what do you call it in controlled settings, i.e., like a, a you know an experiment where, um, as in like a quote, and I say quote loose, but um, like a, a a scientific experiment, right? So people come in, they know they're gonna be injected with something, and then others were just straight, you know, military planes or whatever, just spraying the public with stuff, and the public don't even know. Right, obviously, once again, we we'll know we know that there is more than what is published, right? Which is why in the kingdom, right? You know, we gonna look back at this kind of like, man, fuck you know, this place was was just was just because we know it's nasty, right? But when we're in a what do you call it? Sometimes you have to get out of a particular situation to realize just how bad that situation is, and this situation is bad, right? Um. So business insider over and over again, the military has conducted dangerous bio warfare experiments on Americans. This is on September twentieth, nineteen fifty eight, US. First, let me just show you how how long this article is. Right, you know, I mean, look, look how look how long this is. A lot of, you know, yeah, some some of it is um. You know, is 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 uh, you know f f uh, filler fluff, right? But those, you know, these are different things, right? That this this man has done. You know, there was a bit in here that I actually wanted to pick out specifically, right? Yeah. So this is here, right? So regarding Jake, right? This is in twenty twelve. Lisa Martino Taylor. A sociology professor at St. Louis Community College, Merrimack, right, released a report theorizing that the army's experiments could be connected to cancer rates in a low-income, uh, mostly black neighborhood uh, in, in the city where zinc cadmium sulfide had been tested. Right, She said uh, um, she was concerned that there could have been a radioactive component to some testing, though she did not have any direct evidence for that possibility. Right. Her report, however, prompted both senators from Missouri to write to the army secretary demanding answers. Right. Um, so actually, I believe I, I missed. I was trying to find the bit where they actually start. OK, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I actually missed a whole chunk there. Right. So the potential toxicity of the country of that controversial compound zinc cadmium sulfide is debated. One component, a uh, uh, cadmium, is highly toxic and can cause cancer. So it's carcinogenic. Some reports suggest a possibility that the zinc cadmium sulfide could perhaps degrade into cadmium. But a 97 report from the devil um, concluded that the army secret test did not expose residents of the US and Canada to chemical levels considered harmful. Right. However, the same report noted that research on the chemicals used was sparse, mostly based on very limited animal studies. Right. These air tests right, were conducted around the uh, 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 country as part of Operation Large Area Cover Coverage. Right. It's exactly 
what it says and attend large area coverage, you know, cover as large an area as possible. Right, it says there was evidence of the powder after it was released would be located a day or two later as far away as 1,200 miles, right? There was really a sense that you could really blanket the country with a similar agent. So once again, we ask ourselves, what about what's happening now? Right, do you know... Is is this real? Is it fake? Like, what is? It? And then then this man, right, will have the the cheat to be like, oh, how can you how can you not take this seriously, right? Look at your history, right? You have the uh, a, a, a history of being the devil, right? I'm not gonna read through. This is too long to read through all of this, but you know, brothers can um, uh, 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 would you call it, can read into it, right? Oh yeah yeah. So now I can read this particular one. Right, and then I'll give you, they give some, um, you know, some bullshit excuse. Right, so on September 20th, 1950, a U.S. Navy ship just off the coast of San Fran used a giant hose to spray a cloud of microbes into the air and into the city's famous fog. The military was testing how a biological weapon attack would affect the 800,000 residents of the city. Right. Um, uh, the people of, and I, I say it like that because, you know, you tell these people, look, this is what your government used to do. Right, and they'll be like, oh, but that was back then, right? Because finally, well, so another thing that I noticed, all of these things kind of stopped happening 1969, 1970. Right? And these people think that all of a sudden, right, this man has stopped doing these things. No, 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 this, this is in this man's nature. <laughs> well, you got to understand this. This is in this man's, he ain't just going to, what do you call it, stop torturing people, for instance. That came out, Right. Um, the people of San Fran had no idea, so the Navy continued the test for seven days, potentially causing at least one death. It was one of the first large-scale bioweapon trials that would be conducted under a germ warfare testing program that went on for 20 years, right, from 49 to 69. The goal was to deter the use of biological weapons against the United States and its allies and to retaliate if, deter if deterrence failed. The government explained later, fundamental to the development of a deterrent strategy was a need for a thorough study and analysis of our vulnerability to overt and covert attack. Right now, once again, there will you be people who blow like, up, oh, but you know, the government was trying to protect us. The government was trying to protect us. Just like, oh, you see now, right? People are failing to use logic, right? And they're just running with anything that the government said because Fauci knows what he's talking about, right? And all of that sort of stuff, right? Um. Yeah, so he was saying it's you know this particular individual basically ended up having it. Like some the uh, there was a point I wanted near the end. Uh, no, like I say this is a this is a, a what do you call it a long ass article, man. So so what's happening now? Cole says that the obvious question that's on people's mind is what's happening now. Where well, after all, if the secret test could occur then, what prevents them from continuing? Are they in fact still going on? Which we know they will be, right? He says he doesn't think it's likely. Well, he didn't say no. He said, no, I don't think it's likely. Because, you know, if he's military, he ain't, he ain't at liberty to say. Right? He says, I would never swear on your life or my life that nothing illegitimate is happening. But based on what I do know, I don't have any sense that there's any illicit activity now that would involve risking exposure to tons of people. Uh, as happened in the 50s and 60s, he said, right? Bio agents still studied and tested, but informed consent is more widely appreciated now, right? So that's that's the fluff that they want people to, to run with and to read with, right? But they don't understand this one thing, that this man is as dead, right? So let's, uh, what do you call it? Let's get that real quick. Uh, right? This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. Right, which says, um, I'll start from 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. So, you know, these people can't and rather don't want to accept that this man is the devil, that this man hasn't got their best interest at heart. Right, which is why they will, uh, you know, happily believe anything that's, that he says in terms of being a nice guy. Right, they'll happily believe that Trump is oh he's evil. He should he should he should, you know he should get the coronavirus and die. Right, this is what these people will say. 
right? But they're not understanding that the, 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 the liberals, these Democrats, are of the same people, of the same home, because the same person that just wished death on Trump was the same person who will say, oh, I'm a Democrat, I love all people, right? If you notice a lot, of, a lot of these Democrats, you know, you read these socials or whatever, they be speaking like that, man. These liberals, man, are all them anti-vaxxers. Oh, well, if they don't want the vaccine, we should just let them die, right? We should let them all die off. Well, that's, that's what they say, right? Um, he says he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all, all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right, and this man Esau is as death man. Right, so anyone who wants to believe he still ain't he ain't doing these tests anymore. Hey man, you you got a thing to learn, right? And this one, this is Wikipedia. I mean, look how small that 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 thing is, man. That scroll bar is. You see, all the way down there, still still not done, still not finished, man. So hey, bro, is you know if you got time, you're gonna have to you know go through this on your on your own. Once again, this is a. Uh, this is a lot of articles, man. This is a lot of articles. Right? So unethical human experiments in the United States, Wikipedia. Right? Uh, and it goes to search, surgical experiments. And this is through the 1840s. And this is on Jake, right? Who is often referred to as the father of gynecology, performed surgical experiments on enslaved African women, right? Uh, uh, so it's, in, you know, enslaved Israelite women, rather, without anesthetic, man. Right, it says the woman, one of whom the women, one of whom was operated on thirty times, eventually died from infections resulting from the experiments. Right, but he's all like, but look how many lives are saved nowadays. Right, you know, um, it says pathogens and bio warfare, late nineteenth century, early twentieth century. Um, so in 1908, three Philadelphia researchers infected dozens of children with t t tuberculin at St. Vincent, right? You know, so you, children get sent and then they got, get fucked around with, right? It says, obviously, in the Tuskegee experiments were conducted between 1932 and 1972, right? So for a good 40 years, right, these things were happening, Um I forget where, oh yeah, I think it's, I forget where it was, but they're saying this, oh, for, yeah, so this one um says, 1940s, University of Michigan virologist Thomas Francis, Jonas Salk, and other researchers deliberately infected patients at several Michigan mental institutes with the influenza virus by spraying the virus <clears throat> into their nasal passages, right? Forty one Dr. William C. Black inoculated a twelve month old baby with herpes who was offered as a volunteer. Right. Yeah, once again syphilis. No nine fifties uh, in order to conduct Simulation of bio warfare attack. The U.S. Navy sprayed large quantities of the bacteria. We just read that in um, in the other one, right? Uh, in the other article, <laughs> in 1950, Joseph, Dr. Joseph Stokes of the University of Pennsylvania deliberately infected 200 female prisoners with hepatitis, right? And you know, the, you know, these whole medical things, man, they they be doing some nasty stuff. You you see the um. Uh, there's the documentary, not document, but the test of the testimony rather, right of this uh, uh, guy who basically, you know, I forgot his name, Plotkin, Doctor Plotkin, P L O T K I N, right, and then he basically is talking about, yeah, you know, you'd have, you know, uh, they called it fetuses, but basically a, a you know, baby that never made out of the womb, right, and they say, yeah, you have bits, you know, you just chop it up, you know, someone as if, as if it's as if it's like a frog. You know, here it is a human life. Well, it was a human life, a human body, right? And then you're just chopping it up like it's a, it's a frog for experiments, man. Well, this and this and you're gonna trust this, man, <laughs> right? Um, what do you call it? Frank Olson with LSD, right? Um, 
uh, the big itch, right? In May 1955, over 300,000 uninfect uh, uninfected, apparently. Right, you always got to say it like that. You can't trust anything this man says, right? Um, but officially, uninfected mosquitoes were dropped over parts of the U.S. of Georgia, uh, 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 at the, well, the state of Georgia, to determine if the airdrop mosquitoes could survive to take meals from humans. Like what? Um... Human radiation experiments. I mean, the list goes on. The list literally goes on. Um, as I was trying to see if there are any quick points to pull out. Um, you know, once again, I said, you know, bros can, you know, if, if, if this spirit wolves can go into the, like I say, if, if, if I was to cover this, would end up being a two hour, you know, if not longer video. Um, you know, it's before even any precepts come out, right? So the point I'm trying to make is this: man's the devil, right? Um, and I'll end the top, the, the what do you call it? the the uh, the article section of this? This is uh, from the Independent: How the British government subjected thousands of people to chemical and biological warfare trials during the Cold War, right? So during the Cold War, the British government used the general public as unwitting, unwitting meaning they didn't know, biological and chemical warfare guinea pigs on a much greater scale than previously thought, according to new historical research. More than hundred in more than seven hundred and fifty secret operations, hundreds of thousands of ordinary Britons were subject to mock biological and chemical warfare attacks launched from aircraft, ships and road vehicles. Right, it says up until now historians had thought such operations had been less extensive. The new research uh, has revealed that British military aircraft dropped thousands of kilos of a chemical largely un of largely unknown toxic potential. They didn't even know how toxic this shit was. It was like, eh, let's find out, right, on British civilian populations in and around Salisbury, right, Wiltshire, Cardington, Bedfordshire, and no uh, Norwich in Norfolk, right. Um, what do you call it? And I be believe it says further down here that it's a potentially carcinogenic. Right, so yeah, the research reveals for the first time that around 4,600 kilos, or so four tons, or of the chemical zinc cadmium sulfide, now thought to be potentially carcinogenic on account of its cadmium content, right, were dispersed from ships, aircraft, and moving between 1953 and 1964, right? And the thing about Salisbury's, that's where you get the uh, UK's um, biological warfare uh, 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 facility Porton down, right? You know, so I'll just uh, we just read the scriptures. We 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 know and we we get these scriptures all the time uh, on this man, right? It says uh, you know to answer the question, right? You know, can you, you know, well, and you trust this man, right? You know, it says uh, 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 never. It's around twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Right, though he, <clears throat> though he humble himself, so basically, so never trust an enemy. That's the point. Let me break this down. Never trust an enemy. I don't trust him, man. Right, because you, we always got to remember that this man is the devil, right? And it goes into how he'll come nicely. Let's, in fact, let's go to it. So for like his iron rust, so as his wickedness, basically saying, look, iron can look nice, but you, you, you leave it in oxygen, right? You know, it go and rust, <laughs> right? Oxidization, right? It's gonna rust, right? Basically meaning look, just like how iron rust, Esau will show you that he is wicked, right? It says though he humble himself, right, and go crouching yet, take good heed of him and beware of him, right? You might have a, a what do you call it, a Edomite that you work with and you know this guy's an Edomite, you you know, you've read this spirit, you've tried him like nah, this guy's an Edomite, right? You know, and then he, you know, he's talking to you, whatever, and he might be all nice, hey, you are right, man, you good man, you like, hey, we say, man, we say. Right, he's trying to get you. He's trying to get you a a a a what do you call? It? Get you to think that he is nice. But a be rest assured, right? Given the opportunity, that motherfucker will stab you in your back, right? Why? Because he is the devil. That's his nature, right? He, he, can you? And he goes on to say, this, can you uh, uh pity you know one a, a, a snake charmer that is bitten, right? It says, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst look, wiped a looking glass. Thou shalt know that his wrath hath not been altogether wiped away, said him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. 
neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he take thy seat and thou at the last <laughs> remember my words and be pricked therewith. Right? So in the last, you're like, shit, when when Esau fucks you over, you're like, shit, yeah. And hey, people are going to experience that. Right? We've been telling these guys that Esau, the so called white man, is the devil. Right? And these people, they go and realize it when it's too late. Right? It's Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. So the things that stand from the apostles in town that we, you know, that we teach, right, as given uh, the understanding, as given by inspiration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? When these things happen, you know, rather these things will happen because they're prophecy, right? And the Lord said his words shall not return unto him for it's based saying if the Lord says something, when it's written in these scriptures, it's going to happen, right? So then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them, right? So then they're going to be like, oh, shit, yeah. Damn, yeah, them, them guys, them GMS guys, they, you know, they, they were right, you know, fuck, right? You know, and they, they'll be pricked, right? By, by the words, right? When when these jakes are going to take the chip and then they get pricked physically, then they go get pricked. Shit, yeah, them them man in GMS they were speaking about these things, weren't they? Right? When these missiles get dropped, then they'll get pricked. And be like, oh man, shit, these GMS guys, you know, they were speaking about these things, weren't they? Right? Obviously, starting off with the apostles on down, right? You know, when Esau shows his horns, which he is getting, he's so getting ready to show his horns. Right. Once again, you're gonna be pricked, and you're gonna be like, "Shit, this man is the devil." Right. It's Revelation twelve and twelve. In fact, I might call it. I might call it the end of that that scripture. Um, Revelation twelve and twelve says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea and of uh, of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he hath." Uh, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, right? So Esau knows that his time's almost up, which is why he, uh, what do you call? It? He's 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 been rushing this thing through, man, right? You know, out of nowhere, you know, this is just taken over the whole world, right? You know, but he's he's gonna be coming down. He's gonna be showing Jake his horns. So Jake, Jake don't a lot of Jake don't really understand. What the hell is going on? Right? Yeah, they know something's not quite right. You know, they might know the mark of the beast, the chip, or they might be like, "Nah, fuck these Edomites." Right? But for a lot of Jake, they can't see a way out. So they, on one hand, they'll be like, "And Benjamin's an example of this," right? You know, Benjamin, they 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 will go bun Babylon, and then still revere the so-called white man because they don't they don't see a way outside of the system. But this truth gives us. Uh, uh, you know that power, right? Which is the ability to see. Actually, no. Nah, luckily, right? Call hello, yeah, but share me out shy. Esau ain't it, <laughs> right? Because if he was it, what does the scripture say? Right? We just read he is as death. It's in Matthew twenty four twenty two. And except those days should be shortened, they should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Right, so for our, you know, Lord's will of that number for our sakes, these days are gonna be shown because you you can't let Esau keep running wild, right? We we've just like I said, there was there was a whole and these are the the ones that are being officially um, uh, what do you call it, put out there. These are the ones that have happened on the UK and the US. What about all of the other things that they did, right? In in in, in these other countries, man, right? Project, I don't even know what Project Sunshine is, but, <laughs> you know, Fallout research, oh yeah, fall, you know, Fallouts, right, nuclear Fallout or whatever, right, in fact, let me, um, uh, but you see, because they keep, because the reason they, this caught my eyes, because they keep quoting that John Hopkins uh, University, so I don't know if they're related as to John Hopkins University and John Hopkins Hospital, but it says between 1948 and 54, funded by the federal government, research at the John Hopkins Hospital inserted radium rods on t into the nose of 582 Baltimore, Maryland, uh, 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 which call it school children as an alternative to adenoidectomy. Similar experiments were performed in over 7,000 U.S. Army. So basically, if you go to the Army, man, you're a guinea pig. Because a load of these things were tested on Army personnel as well, right? 
um, were performed in over 7,000 US military and Navy personnel during World War II. Right, radium, nasal radium iridation became a standard. <laughs> Oh, man. Became a standard medical treatment and was used in over two and a half million Americans. So this man has a has a habit of getting it wrong. <laughs> and you can't trust this man? Right? So like I said, it was more more reading. Like I said, it was, it was a lot, lot, lot of different things, man. You know, the page is even loading properly. Um, you, you know, it's like how many different things is going on you know are written and once again these are the ones that have just been recorded these are the ones that have just um happened in the u.s right there's there'll be other things that this man has done right so i said there's a lot of reading just lucky for that but i thought you know it was information that was uh pertinent to get out right so as always laws what i was edifying to the next time shalom